gain access to change the cabin air filter, you simply open the glove box. There's a arm here that makes it so it opens and closes smoothly. You simply disconnect that by pulling it to the right. You can push it in a little bit to give you some extra access. Then simply with both hands on the two side rails, push them together a little bit of force and that will release these two clips on the end. It simply hangs down. You can also unsnap it from these hinges. The air filters are clearly marked which goes up with an arrow. There are four tabs that hold it in place. Pinch those tabs together and pull. I'm trying to do it one-handed. It makes it more difficult. The wiring that needs to be gotten out of the way. And out comes your filter. And you can see this one does need changed. It's been in about a year. And you can see there's dirt and debris. Now this was a charcoal filter, so that gives it some of the dark color. But there's also some debris and things like that in it, so it definitely needs changed. Here's the new air filter. This is also a carbon uh, infused. You can just get them with plain white uh, filtering, and I've seen some that are made out of plastics. But I prefer the carbon. It's clearly marked where you can see the up and the up arrow, and it simply slides back in the same opening with the up arrow pointed up and snaps into place. Here you can see it clearly in place. Now it's just a matter of replacing the uh, glove box door and the actuator. Okay, to replace the glove box door is pretty easy. These just hinges just snap in place. Line them up and just push forward. And then it's just a matter of lifting it back into place. It snaps in place. The next step is to attach the glide so that it opens and closes smoothly. The mechanical part that allows us to open and close smoothly, you just pull it out, snap it in place, and you're done. The only thing to do is make sure that everything operates properly. There's closed, open smoothly, and you have a new cabin air filter installed.